Another hot and steamy day. Meteorologist Kate Bilo tracking some pop up storms in our area. Hi, Kate. Hi, Jessica. Yeah, we've really only had one storm pop up and it's been over Cumberland and Cape May counties for most of the afternoon. The rest of the region quiet for now, but that's going to change. We've got some shower and thunderstorm activity headed our way overnight and especially into the day tomorrow. You can see the sun we had earlier today has gone by the wayside. It has turned out mostly cloudy here this afternoon. Temperature wise, another hot and steamy day, although with more clouds. Temps are dropping off at least a little bit. We're down to 92 in the city, 90 in Wilmington, 90 in Mount Holly, 90 in Cheswold, and it's cooler down the shore as well. A sea breeze and some rain cooled air for spots like Millville owing to that slight cool down. You can see where we've got that pink shading. That's where it feels like temperatures are above 100 over portions of Kent and Sussex counties in Delaware. Dover feels like 97, feels like 95 in Philadelphia, but with clouds and a few showers headed toward the shore points, the feels like temperatures are dropping off a little bit. Most of these storms you see here down south of DC will likely miss most of our area. Could clip Delaware later on tonight, but there are more shower and storm chances where that came from. A disturbance tomorrow will bring the threat for scattered showers, even just some pockets of rain and perhaps a thunderstorm or two. The storm we've been watching over portions of Cumberland County has really started to fizzle. You can see there are some showers now from Strathmere down toward Avalon, Laurel Lake, Morris River also picking up some showers, but the heaviest rain and the thunder and lightning seems to have subsided for now, but more showers and storms could pop up overnight. 73 is the overnight low for us tomorrow. Not as hot. In fact, more than 10 degrees cooler than today and then every day since Sunday. 81 degrees will be the high, but it is mostly cloudy, scattered showers, perhaps a thunderstorm, even just some rain likely in the morning, a very unsettled finish to the work week, cooler and still very muggy out there. It will be steamy, but again, not quite as hot, which will be a welcome change. Down the shore, 80 degrees. UV index is just moderate. The water temperature 77. Doesn't look like a very good beach day because the chance for rain is up to 60%. So timing that out again, the rest of this evening looking pretty quiet. Overnight, we'll start to see a few showers. You may wake up to a rumble of thunder here or there, but for the most part, scattered showers and then some pockets of rain as we get into your Friday morning. This is 6.45 a.m. Rain from the city on South. We've got more showers around 9, 10 a.m. And again, this could just be some plain old rain, not necessarily thunderstorm activity, but just some rain moving on through light showers around the city. It does start to dry out in the afternoon. So if you have weekend travel plans, if you're headed down the shore, you're headed to the Poconos, 4 to 6 p.m. looks like probably the driest stretch, even though there will still be a couple of sprinkles. Later on in the evening, it does dry out. Saturday starts out quiet, but now it's looking like another little disturbance will bring the threat for a few scattered showers and storms on Saturday afternoon as well. Shifting gears down to the tropics, we have Tropical Storm Isaias, which is moving up toward the Lesser Antilles and eventually headed up toward Florida. This is a tropical storm at the moment, but it is strengthening. Right now, winds are at 60 miles an hour. It's moving northwest at 20. It's now expected that by late Friday night into Saturday morning, Isaias will transform or will strengthen into a category one hurricane before making its closest pass to portions of the Florida Keys and then eventually up on into uh, eastern coast of the eastern coast of Florida. At one point it looked like it might go toward the Gulf Coast. Now eastern coast of Florida right up the eastern seaboard. It'll speed up as it heads close to our area, but could bring us some tropical moisture, heavy rainfall likely as we get into next week, Tuesday and Wednesday. So your eyewitness weather seven day forecast thunderstorms tomorrow, even just some pockets of rain Saturday, a few scattered showers and storms Sunday, an isolated storm, but then tropical moisture from Isaias will invade next week. Tuesday into Wednesday looks like the threat for some heavy rain. Jessica, we'll send it back to you. All right, Kate, thank you.